The Fountain Day 94 Time As I have leaned in further to God's heart for our lives and how to spend our days, I found myself moving toward an increasingly independent lifestyle. Well, independent from the world, but fully dependent on God. One new skill I've been honing is cooking with and maintaining a sourdough starter. Now, this may seem silly to you, but to me, it marks a desire to be more rooted in the home, to be more capable of providing all the things my family needs. It's no secret that I love to cook. It's a strong part of my love language, and I look forward to doing it every single day. It makes my heart full. Last week, I took the sourdough starter that I had been cultivating for the last two weeks and boldly attempted to make bread with it. The first day, it was a flop as I discovered my kitchen skill was not working properly any longer. Instead of dwelling on that, I dove headfirst into trying again the next day with a new scale in hand. My children were observing the whole thing, the failure, how I handled it, then my determination to push through for success. In my kitchen, I was teaching them a life principle through making bread. God loves to use the home to mirror what it takes to be successful in the world. He builds character in the day to day. At one point during the day I successfully made the bread, Chris found out how much time it would take for me to complete the task and he asked, are you sure it will be worth it? I was very grateful for this question since it forced me to examine my heart, my motives, and the why of what I was doing. I replied, I am very certain. At the dinner table during home church this Sunday, I recounted the story of the bread to our family and said, One reason I'm on this journey is because you guys are valuable to me. You're worth the time it takes for me to make this bread. I also want to keep learning new skills. I want to stay sharp and always be learning. The final and most important reason is because I feel God is leading me to do these new things. I feel him in the process. It's important to him. And I don't know why, but it is, and that's enough for me. This weekend, I made bread again, and pancakes and cookies, all from the sourdough. The entire family was pleased, and I was amazed at all the things I can use this simple starter to create. And I'm noticing it's healthier, too. No sugar except for the cookies, and I know exactly what we're eating. Our family is leaning toward the farm life, even now. It's important that even before you move fully into your next season, you begin to lean into it and start learning. A wonderful prayer is that God wouldn't move us forward any faster than we can handle, that he would fully prepare us for each season, that we can be good stewards, and it all starts today. The ability to embrace tomorrow begins with today. The wisdom and knowledge to live out tomorrow begins now. Why wait any longer? Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She's more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spends it. She's like a merchant's ship, bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect a field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She's energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Proverbs 31, verses 1 through 18.